Hey guys, it's James, and I wanted to talk about the McDonald's stock. I wanted to see how much McDonald's stock you needed to own to be able to have $1,000 in dividends a month and then $100,000 of dividends a year. And then we'll also take McDonald's and compare it to an S&P 500 index fund. So first, let's take a look at uh, McDonald's stock here. We're in my single fund investing calculator, ticker symbol MCD. So the share price right now is sitting at $268. The dividend yield is 2.06%. Expense ratio is zero as it's a single stock. The, it pays a quarterly dividend. So every quarter, you would get about $1.38 at this share price and dividend yield percentage. And then annually, for every share you own, you would get $5.53. So let's run through a few scenarios here. But first, before we start changing these numbers, again, this number, we know that this number right here is sort of a guess or an educated guess of what we expect McDonald's to, how it, we expect it to perform over the next one to 10 years. So I have my one short-term graph here, one to 10 years, and then I also have my long-term graph here, and you can just see the power of compounding interest due to dividend reinvestment. We will round out this Excel workbook by looking at the dividends, and then we'll go over to my fund versus fund calculator and compare MCD with VOO. First, let's go back to the single fund calculator and take a look at the McDonald's Seeking Alpha page. Here's the share price. Here, the dividend yield is 2.06, so every year, $5.52. If we look at what we're gonna try to do is determine or guess what the annual growth rate for McDonald's would be. So over the past year, it's been about 25%. Over the past five years, it's been 118%. And the past 10 years, 169%. So you can see right around 2014, there has been a massive growth. And I personally think it has to do with McDonald's on the international level. McDonald's, I actually personally work as a sales engineer, uh, and we sell a service to the restaurant industry. And McDonald's is the number one brand, I believe it has, or number one brand for the amount of restaurants globally. They're sitting around 39,000 restaurants. And if we take a peek at how many new restaurants they're opening, it looks like according to yahoo.com, they're opening about a thousand new locations annually. And I believe that most of it is in the international market. So I believe that's why we see this massive increase or we start to see this rise here. If we take a look at the max data that, McDon that Seeking Alpha has all the way back to 1970, you can take a peek and see that McDonald's has only gone on up, which is pretty impressive. So we will probably go with an annual growth rate for the next one to 10 years from between 10% all the way up to 25%. Let's take a peek at their dividend payouts. So this McDonald's is a dividend aristocrat. They have been paying dividends for close to 45 years. If we look at their dividend payout here over the past five years, it has only increased. We look at the max data that Seeking Alpha has, and from 2008, it looks like they started from an annual, changed from an annual dividend to a quarterly dividend and have kept that for about 13 years, and it has only increased every single year. Year. Let's go over to the single fund investing calculator. So let's say we put in $10,000 in McDonald's and we expected an average of 10%. Our 10% growth with this current share price and dividend yield would get us, after 10 years, $31,000 with no monthly addition. Let's say McDonald's continued a really good run and they outgrew 15% and they after 10 years, your 10,000 will turn into 50,000. Let's say they continued a very good run and they doubled the restaurant size to maybe 80,000. I don't I don't know if that correlates to a 20% annual growth, but after 10 years, your $10,000 will have turned into 70 $5,000. If we wanted $100 a year, we would need $5,000 worth of McDonald's stock. If we wanted $1,000 a year, we would need close to $50,000. 
and then if we wanted that coveted $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year, we would need close to $600,000 of McDonald's stock. And then $100,000 a year if you wanted to live off of, Mc, off of the McDonald's dividend and travel in your retirement with $100,000, you would need close to $5 million worth of McDonald's stock. This is not the best retirement stock out, th out there, but it is a really good mix of growth and dividend payout. Let's go over to our fund versus fund calculator, and we will compare McDonald's versus Vanguard's VOO. It's one of their more popular Vanguard. It's one of their more popular S&P 500 100 ETFs. And here are the stats for these funds. And we come down to the annual dividend. The dividend for VOO is a little payout is a little bit more just because the share price is a lot higher. And then we come to the growth rate. So this figure right here for VOO, I will show you where I got that. So over here on Vanguard's website, you see over the past year, VOO has grown almost close to 30%. And then you get your average annual returns for three, five, 10, and then since inception. So we're gonna use a range of 15 to 27% for VOO. But I will tell you this, let's compare McDonald's stock with the S&P 500 with an s p 500 index whatever percent growth we use for voo let's use a little bit more for mcdonald's and i'll show you why just a, a quick note right here from financechill.com if you had invested only 500 dollars in the s p in 1980 it would be worth fifteen thousand dollars today which is not bad if by comparison you had invested 500 dollars in mcdonald's it would be worth $73,000 today. That's after 40 years. Now, obviously, McDonald's is not going to have the same amount of growth as it did the next 40 years as it did the last 40 years, but there's an idea there of how fast McDonald's has grown compared to the S&P 500. And if we come over to the Motley Fool, we can see from 1980 all the way to 2012, McDonald's with dividends reinvested, you can see how much more it has grown compared to the S&P with dividends reinvested. So we can just make a, a few educated guesses here. Let's say VOO, since inception, remember it was 15.85% growth. Let's say next year, 2022, at the end of uh, 2022, December, let's say the S&P 500 VOO grew 20%, and let's say McDonald's grew another 30%. Your $10,000 in either fund will have grown to this. So your $10,000 in McDonald's after one year will have grown to $13,000 and your VOO investment will have grown to $12,000. You go to 10 years. Now, obviously, McDonald's is not going to grow 30% for 10 years every year. So let's back this off a little bit. Let's say McDonald's grows 10%. And this continues its run, VOO, at 15%. Here is what you would have after 10 years. McDonald's would be 31,000 and your VOO would be 46,000. Let's bring VOO back down to 10% and you would have very close to the same amount. Now, the only difference here is McDonald's is going to, you're going to have a more dividend paid to you per share for McDonald's, which gives you an extra two to three thousand dollars if we go over to the monthly dividends here and compare the difference so you would need less mcdonald's to get more dividends so to be able to have a hundred dollars per month in dividends from mcdonald's you would need fifty eight thousand a hundred dollars per month in dividends from voo you would need eighty six thousand and if you want to pause the video you can stop it here and check these out here is your annual dividends if you want a thousand ten thousand twenty five or $50,000 per year, here's how much you would need with these two stocks. If you guys want access to these calculators, head over to Patreon, links in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Do all that good stuff, subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching.